It's that time again, time for a look at what's happening out in the tropics. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade, and let's get right to it because things are getting a little bit more interesting out there. We've got one system that is forecast to get stronger, another that is forecast to continue weakening, but nonetheless, we've still got quite a bit to talk about. Let's check out tropical depression number 12. It is still out in the far east Atlantic. There's not going to be much happening with that one, but we are more concerned about what is now being called potential tropical cyclone number 13. Development chance for the next couple of days now up to 100%. That means the National Hurricane Center pretty much certain that we're going to have a tropical system over the next day or two developing likely a tropical storm and then a hurricane likely as we head into the weekend right now it is just brushing the northern sections of South America and it is forecast to strengthen before we talk more about that system though I do want to give you a brief update on what's happening with tropical depression 12 this is the one still out in the far east Atlantic Maximum sustained winds are only at 30 miles per hour right now. Movement is to the west northwest at 15 miles per hour. It is still encountering some shear, kind of helping to tear it apart. It's very disorganized. It doesn't really have a strong center of circulation and it's kind of starting to lose some of those tropical characteristics. So I think in the next day or two, we're likely talking about this system being completely gone and dissipated and it's not going to have any major impacts on anyone. So good news for tropical depression 12 because we don't need any major impacts. We want these things to fizzle out and go away. However, we do have that other system that I was just telling you about and it is being called a potential tropical cyclone due to the fact that it's a disturbance that is not yet a tropical cyclone, but it has a very high chance to form into a tropical cyclone and it poses a threat of tropical storm conditions on land within 48 hours. The National Hurricane Center usually issues this because it's not actually a depression just yet, but they are expecting it to develop into a depression tropical storm and in this case likely a hurricane by this weekend. So let's talk about it. This is the latest with potential tropical cyclone number 13. You can see the bright colors on this infrared satellite. The brighter colors indicate some of those higher colder cloud tops where we do have those thunderstorms blossoming out there and it is getting more organized. You can see that it's kind of brushing by the northern fringes of South America and we do actually have some tropical storm warnings currently in place for portions of Venezuela and Colombia due to the fact that we could have tropical storm force winds in these locations and also a lot of heavy rain with this possibly several inches of rain, maybe 10 inches of rain for some of those folks. So that means the flood threat will be higher. Maximum sustained winds are currently at 35 miles per hour movement to the west at 17 miles per hour. So it is picking up a little bit of speed and pressure currently at 1,003 millibars. This is as of the latest advisory. That advisory did come out right around 4 p.m. So I want to expand the view now and give you a track of what is now potential tropical cyclone number 13. It's going to continue mainly with that westward movement. It's going to push away from South America and get in to that very warm water and that means it will likely strengthen. We've got sea surface temperatures in the 80s in the Caribbean and that means fuel for the system to develop. So by tomorrow, we're likely talking about a tropical storm by tomorrow afternoon with 45 mile per hour winds and then getting closer to hurricane status as we go into the weekend Saturday afternoon likely up to around 70 miles per hour as it rolls over the central portions of the Caribbean. And then by Sunday, look what happens. You see that number one there. It is forecast to strengthen to a category one hurricane by Sunday, just before landfall, likely around Nicaragua in Central America with 85 mile per hour winds. That's up from the last advisory. The last advisory had this system developing to a hurricane Sunday, but only with 80 mile per hour winds. So the National Hurricane Center forecasting this to become a little bit stronger. Here's another view of it. You can see those showers and storms over northern portions of South America, just to the west of Caracas, Venezuela, and it will continue to push off to the west, bringing that threat for heavy rain, flooding, and of course some strong, gusty, possibly damaging wind as it gets even stronger over the next couple of days. 
I want to give you another view of where this is likely headed. These are our spaghetti model plot, our tracks of where we think this is going to go. Several different computer models, and we do kind of have a consensus. The majority of the models take this into Central America, but notice we do have kind of one outlier here taking it a little bit farther north into the southern Gulf of Mexico. I don't think that's going to happen, but we will likely get a little bit of this moisture pushed our way by the middle of next week, and that may actually translate into some higher rain chances for us. We kind of need it. We're slipping back into drought conditions here across Southeast Texas, so we could actually use a little bit of rain. Speaking of those sea surface temps that I mentioned earlier, look at this. We've got 80s widespread, so very warm, deep ocean waters. And as that system rolls over the warm waters, it's going to take that warmth and it's going to add it into that system. And that's just going to be fuel for it to grow and develop as it makes that track towards Central America. So chances of it making it into the Gulf of Mexico, extremely low. Just about all of the models take it into Central America. And when it develops into a tropical storm, the name will likely become Julia unless we get another system to form before that. But it looks like potential tropical cyclone number 13 will likely be named Julia. Tropical Storm Julia likely forming by tomorrow and then turning into a hurricane headed towards Central America over the weekend. Next name on the list would be Carl. Then we would have Lisa, Martin and Nicole. But guess what? We're hoping we don't get that far. But of course, we still have a little bit of time to go in our hurricane season. Hurricane season does not end until November 30th. Of course, we have passed the peak, which was September 10th, but we've still got a ways to go. But as I've been mentioning, once we get past the middle of October, that chance for a hurricane, a tropical storm, a tropical depression in Southeast Texas, much, much, much lower. So let's just keep going day by day and escaping these systems. And hopefully we will escape for the rest of the season without any major impacts here. Of course, if you need more information, you can always download our Fox 26 weather app. We've got a great tropical section there. We also have all of your local weather. Anything you need to know, you can find on this app. So head to your app store, whether you have an Apple phone, an Android, you can find the Fox 26 weather app. You can also check me out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Twitter at Ramesha Shade TV, Facebook at Ramesha Shade Weather, and Instagram at Ramesha Shade. That's the latest that I have for you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and stay safe out there.